viewers i am sarim khan back with a new topic and that is today a question i am going to solve a question of the pulley system okay this we have a figure so today i am going to solve this question the question is okay that is an example of the okay book okay mechanics volume first by dc pandey that is of a pulley system we are going to okay learn this question of the pulley system so first of all our question is that in the system shown in figure okay pulley is smooth next we can see that string is massless and inextensible now next we can see that find the acceleration of the system a tension t1 and t2 g equals to 10 meters per second square means we have this system pulley system now in this what we can see that here okay here some logs of masses we have now this system acceleration let the acceleration be a so a value we have to find out now after a we have to find out t1 means this and this okay tension and finally t2 means this tension okay here our t2 okay means second tension will be now here what we can see now here we have to solve this so first of all we'll be finding out the acceleration of this system so from here we'll be beginning our solution okay so from here we'll begin our solution so first of all we'll be finding out the acceleration of the system then acceleration first of all since we know that force equals to net force equals to okay according to the newton second law of motion net force equals to mass into acceleration this we know net force equals to mass into acceleration means that if we have net force over any system then we can define it as total mass of the system multiplied by the acceleration of the system now according to this formula if we try to send this m here so f net by m equals to a and so we can write that acceleration is equals to net force divided by the total mass of the system acceleration is net force divided by total mass of the system now what we have to find out acceleration of the system that is a so it is very simple using only the single formula we can find out the acceleration of this of this system only net force we need and total mass of the system we need now total mass of the system we can easily find out easily but how do we find out the net force okay that's our question so first of all we need to see that where the forces are acting okay where the forces are acting in this so here any external force we see of course we do not see and so here what we can see that acceleration of this block is upward of this block and this block is downward this we can see of course now because here it is given in figure now we have to find out a single force acting on those blocks ourselves and that force may be weight because of course weight acts all the time so here what we can see what will be the weight of those blocks for 2 kg block okay 2 kg block what will it be 2 kg okay since we do w okay weight is equals to mg so weight is equals to mg g we have to take 10 meters per second square so first first for 2 kg block we have 2 kg into 10 okay that is 20 so here we have 20 newton okay its weight is 20 newtons okay its weight is 20 newtons now so finally first block weight is 20 newtons now we can see for 4 kg okay 4 kg now its mass into okay acceleration due to gravity 40 newtons its mass will okay its weight will be 40 newtons and its weight will be also 40 newtons sorry 60 newtons okay because now we can see the 60 newtons because 6 into 10 is 60 newtons so finally what their weights we got 20 newtons 40 newtons and 60 newtons this weights we got now weights are also kinds of forces since or from very earlier we have studied so only then this net force means net weight we have to find out so net weight will find out so first of all what we need to care that here 60 newtons 40 newtons okay they will be added there okay weight direction is same but here what we can see acceleration is upward this block is not going in the direction of this it is going upward here it's okay here only what we have to do its direction is okay this side and acceleration its acceleration is this side so they will be subtracted from each other so here first of all we'll add this to this later this will subtract from its sum why will subtract because direction are just opposite okay so here what we can see will be subtracting them so force okay net force here echo in formula will be putting net force what is here net forces first of all 60 okay 60 newtons plus 40 newtons now will be subtracting 20 newtons 
minus 20 newtons by subtracting we know direction are opposite of acceleration 60 plus 40 minus 20 in newtons divided by now divided by now we'll try to divide so here we'll divide by the total mass of the system now here for total mass of the system we need to add so for total mass of the system is so here we have 6 plus 4 plus 2 which is equals to 12 kg okay in kg but it will be which is equals to so okay this its value will come 80 newtons so here 80 newtons now divided by this 12 kg it will be coming now okay so here we have 80 newtons divided by 12 kg when will be evaluating 80 newtons divided by 12 kg so by 4 they can be cancelled which is equals to 20 by 3 now newton per kg now because since we know acceleration unit in SI unit is meter per second square. So in meter per second square we'll write it. So 20 by 3 meter per second square. So one acceleration first question. Okay firstly question was asking acceleration of system. Acceleration of the system is 20 by 3 meters per second square. Now only what I have to do that uh, acceleration we got now after this acceleration let me find out the tension t1 and t2 after erasing this so first of all let me erase this okay so now acceleration we had got 20 by 3 meters per second square now what we can see here now first tension and second tension we have to find out means t1 okay means this and t2 this okay this we have to find out now only what we can see t1 we need to find out so first of all we need to see the direction of acceleration what is the direction just like imagine we are finding through this system okay just like 2 kg block we had now what we have to see because this is a single block hung here it will become easier so here what we can see then first tension we have so first tension is near 2 kg block okay in this string so here what we can see 2 kg block is hung here but its acceleration direction is up and it says down so it says up implies that finally t1 is greater than 20 newtons why it is greater because if okay just like why it is going up because of the tension by t1 okay just like we can call such that means just like if acceleration direction is up and tension is also up and if this weight is down then the tension is greater than weight this is why it is going up acceleration is up if acceleration would be down then the weight would be greater than, than tension but the acceleration is up so tension is greater than the weight so tension is greater than the weight so what formula we have and first of all okay so here t first tension we need to find out so what formula we have according to newton's second law of motion net force equals to, to total okay mass of now times the acceleration this formula we had so in the by putting the values we can find out the tension okay so first tension so net force we need to find out so net force over only this block because tension is over only on near this block so only on this block which net force is acting first of all the tension will be that this is string later its weight will be so first of all which is higher tension or weight okay of course tension is so we'll subtract the weight from the tension now then we have implies that t1 minus 20 okay t1 minus 20 newtons is equals to mass of this 2 into acceleration okay acceleration what we had found 20 by 3 meters per second square this we have so finally by this what we are getting implies that t1 okay t1 is equals to this will be going here it will be added so 40 by 3 okay 40 by 3 plus 20 by 1 okay it's now it's LCM we can take which is equals to upon 3 now 3 tables 1 times 1 into 40 is 40 plus okay here 3 times 3 into 20 is 60 40 plus 60 is 100 so 100 by 3 so 100 by 3 newtons so finally the first tension we got first tension is 100 divided by 3 newtons okay so finally what we got acceleration was over 20 by 3 meters per second split first tension we got 100 by 3 newtons how we got only we have put the values of net force equals to mass into acceleration net force is okay for in this first tension minus uh, the weight of this block and now here this we have sent here and finally we got t1 is equals to 100 by 3 newtons now only what finally we have to find out okay this is our second answer now finally we have to find out the t2 so after this let me erase this and later we'll be finding out t2 so
so now what we have to find out t2 okay so t2 we have to find out now where t2 is acting where second tension is acting this we have to check acceleration is downward okay so on this 6 kg block okay near this 6 kg block now here a 6 kg block which we have its acceleration is just downwards it its weight is just downward 60 newtons t2 is upward so here which is greater weight or tension of course weight because due to this weight acceleration is downward what we can see that why uh, means just like acceleration is downward and weight is also downward this is why here uh, okay tension is uh, value is lesser than weight so here what we can see weight is greater than tension because acceleration is happening okay due to weight okay not the tension because of what we can see that acceleration is downward and our weight is also downward but tension okay means t2 is upward so here what we can see that finally then what we'll be doing okay just like f net okay net force formula is mass into acceleration here what net force will be so 60 minus t okay here we'll be doing 60 minus t why 60 minus t because 60 is greater than t okay so 60 minus t equals to mass of this so 6 kg 6 into what was our acceleration 20 by 3 so into 20 by 3 okay now since we know this can be cancelled to this in two times so 60 minus t okay implies that 60 minus t is equals to 2 into 20 is 40 okay 60 minus t equals to 40 this uh, 60 will be sending here so when the 60 will go here implies that minus t will be left minus t equals to 40 this will become negative minus 60 minus t equals to 40 minus 60 but we have to find okay sorry here t2 is present okay here t2 will be writing so minus t equals to okay minus t2 equals to 40 minus 60 we need to find out the value of plus okay t2 so only what we have to do, what we have to do that we have to do its additive inverse okay or we have to multiply it by minus this we can do so when we'll be doing so same thing will be happening this side so i'm plus then t2 is equals to so here it will happen it's also additive inverse so 60 minus 40 t2 equals to 60 minus 40 which is equals to 20 newtons implies that implies that the t2 is equals to 20 newtons final answer what we got 20 newtons t2 equals to 20 newtons and what we had found acceleration is 20 by 3 meters per second squared and t1 is over 100 by 3 meters per second squared and t2 is 20 newtons sorry t1 was 100 by 3 newtons and t2 is also 20 newtons but just like in book you can see in book it will be not given 20 newtons it will be given 60 by 3 newtons but let me inform you 60 by 3 newtons and 20 newtons value say of course while be while will be evaluating 60 by 3 newtons will be getting 20 newtons only what it has done just like dc pandey sir would have also thought just like uh, which acceleration we had 20 by 3 denominator 3 uh, and here t1 what we had 100 by 3 here also denominator 3 so he would have also thought that t2 also we should have put okay denominator as 3 this is why not 20 newtons maybe this is why he would have put uh, 60 by 3 newtons okay to make all same time so this is why may, maybe same reason would be dc pandey sir would have thought so first of all this was my today's topic and this so thank you